Welcome back to another video of Road to WWE 2K23. We just finished eating Shawn Michaels at. Present to you the very first inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame class 2008. Rick and more Blair. importantly, he's my friend. Woo! I this. love this business and I will never retire. As long, no as long as you keep on winning. The next time you lose a match, your career is over. Only one thing in the world that could make Ric Flair's career even bigger. And that would be to wrestle the man whose name is synonymous with WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. I am not gonna be known as the guy that ended Ric Flair's career. And if I can't compete with the best, then I don't want my career to continue. I'm gonna give you the showstopper. I would expect Nothing less. This match really made me cry. Remember the story of old Not because I like Ric Flair. I don't. I like his. I like his daughter though. His daughter got a small body with big titties, and she's tall. Like I said, I'm putting you out of your misery. I just cried because uh, Michaels had to end this nigga career. Because Shawn Michaels is my favorite wrestler. Fuck the nature boy. The following is a career with things back. Now in this contest, I know I'm sexy. I got the look. That drive the girl swat. I got the look. That really move on. That's the chill. Up and down their spines. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy, toy. And approaching the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. I see why you named the Charlotte. I cannot express. What a tremendous honor it is to call this match. Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels. With Ric Flair's career on the line. If Ric Flair loses here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the Nate must Nate retire. Guys. You know, JR, this started a long, long time ago when Mr. McMahon decreed that the next match Ric Flair lost would be his last. And let's not forget, it was Flair who challenged HBK. Flair even said that it would be an honor to be retired by Shawn Michaels. Another what an emotional guy. moment for both these men. Ric Flair, the Nature Boy's career, has been in serious peril for months now, but never so much as tonight up against a fellow legend in Shawn Michaels. I don't think anyone can argue HBK and Flair's abilities and careers. It must be heart-wrenching for HBK to know that winning at WrestleMania tonight means Ric Flair will never compete again. Nice reversal. Shawn Michaels, the showstopper. Oh, what an amazing setting. Wait a minute. What, what, what is he doing? Look at him. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, hey, man, they got to hurt. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. Stop taking the res on my mouth, Michael Cole. I'll uh, beat you up. Just one minute. How 
is he doing it? How is it cut? Oh, and Michaels, he drove that elbow all the way from the top rope. Into counter. He's in big trouble. This is why the nature more Ric Flair's one of the most celebrated superstars well, this business there. has ever known. That was kind of funny. Look at this, it's locked in. Great home being applied. He's fighting back with all he's got. What a wolf. The emotional aspect of this match must be weighing mighty heavy on Shawn Michaels' mind. Well, this is what Ric Flair wanted. He wanted Mr. WrestleMania, and he got him. And it just might cost him his career. If there was any individual that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a nature boy to take all the punishment that he can deliver and still be standing, it's Shawn Michaels. This crowd is on its feet, showing absolute reverence. They know what they are witnessing here is history. Oh, look at the emotion. Well, that one floored him. He's heading back up. Incoming. Look at this. How many more of those can he take? From that kick, and he strikes with a quick kick, and he strikes with a quick kick. Oh, and the sound of that slam can be heard throughout the building. Kind of like the way that head shot. The reversal. Going for a pin. Here's the cover. HBK with a hard right, and the showstopper connects. I know you got people. Oh, Lord Almighty, what a chop. The sound is echoing to the far reaches of this packed arena. Now a quick kick. You hear how his leg connected? He takes his opponent down with a flying form. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? Body drop and a veteran-like reversal by Shawn Michaels. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And there's the flying forearm. Shawn's going to the top. Uh-oh. Wow, what a move. I mean, there is nothing like seeing somebody go flying through the air. Hey, he's going for it again. Superstars. Oh, we can't like that, man. We gotta whoop his ass and dignity. Our dignity, not his dignity. We can whoop his ass anyway. The Nature Boy, making it to his feet, says, Bring it on. Flair's not finished yet. Flair wants to fight. Oh, do you hear that? Man, I felt those reverse knife edge chops, and they are brutal. Flying ball. Oh, this isn't good. And there's the super kick. Shawn Michaels, the main event, certainly has the means to back up his confident attitude. Oh, this isn't over yet. Look at him go. He's got him up. Talk about having a reserve in the fuel tank. 
Drew worked them out of Sexy. I got the look that make people gay. John Cena is determined to reclaim what, as he said, he never lost the WWE Championship. <laughs> He went on um, being due to a career threatening quadriceps injury. The game missed WrestleMania last year in Detroit. Triple H is looking to compete. Man, Triple H here in the lot. WWE's grandest stage in 2004. The third generation prodigy, Randy Orton became the youngest world champion now here's in WWE my all time number on one favorite over a six month reign and Orton the Viper says he is a one man dynasty the cold and Randy Orton can leave WrestleMania 24 as the if he's the Viper I'm the cold and here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena for the WWE Championship. Well, I'll tell you, JR, this match is a long time in coming. And, I get to play and these three men have done everything possible to get to this moment. Cena stunned the world coming back from injury to win the Royal Rumble and challenged Orton at no way out instead of WrestleMania. Cena lost that match against Orton when Orton got himself disqualified that same night. Triple H won his Elimination Chamber match, making him the top contender for the WWE title. Oh, these three men have agitated, interfered, and interjected themselves in each other's business for months. And it all leads up to this moment. What an impact from that kick. Triple H, it doesn't matter who gets pinned here. The man that makes the pin is the WWE Champion. That's why we talked about the fact that it doesn't really favor Orton. Because John Cena could pin Triple H, or Triple H could pin John Cena, and Randy Orton not even be involved and still lose the championship. The champion is always at a disadvantage in a triple threat. It's almost an unfair advantage against the champion. And it's Randy Orton who has the giant target on his back tonight. Well, he was able to reverse and get out of that. Looks like the aggression is going to be turned on. And it not let it be through the stick. Uh, get oh, back. Did you see the next yeah. step back? He was able to reverse that. Uh oh, nice count. If he keeps delivering clotheslines like that, he's going to break his arm. Looks like the aggression is going to be turned up a notch. What a rescue there. And that was broken up before it could land. They lock up. What a rescue that John Cena and Triple H have made it clear. Neither man will rest until Orton loses the WWE Championship. John Cena obviously ready for this match. But how long will it be before Triple H and Randy Orton turn on each other? If I'm Cena, I'm hoping it's sooner rather than... The game has gone through absolute hell to earn this opportunity after winning the Elimination Chamber. Don't forget about the game's career-threatening injury. It's impressive the amount of dedication and physical conditioning that saved Triple H's career. Triple H tore his right quadriceps in a tag match against Orton and Edge at New Year's Revolution 2007. Then the game famously 
tore his left quad on Monday Night Raw several years prior. Let's not forget that Triple H beat Randy Orton for the WWE Championship back in the fall. The game won it on that night and ended up defending it three times. Triple H was beaten by Orton in a Falls Count Anywhere match, and now Orton is doing anything he has to to leave WrestleMania the WWE Champion. That's right. That's the backstory that got us here tonight. Nowhere to go. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. No. Broke it up. Man, it's nothing new. I hate but Triple H yeah. is getting inside the head of his opponent here. an elbow oh and the Orton boot connects back and forth how do these superstars keep doing it blocks it just look at this you can there's the submission it could be academic at this point he's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold and his attack misses Triple H looking to be suffering from the lingering effects of his quadriceps injury and those effects are going to linger for a long time, JR. His attitude adjustment on the verge of victory. And that wild attack won't find a hole. If you can't hear somebody else I'll say it, then you'll hear his fans. You can't see me. This could be it. This could be it. He misjudged the... It's not looking good for Cena. Triple threat matches are so dangerous. Alliances are created and destroyed in a matter of minutes. And you just don't know who you can trust. Nobody, JR. That's who you can trust. Nobody. It's every man for himself in this type of match. The hey, first man that. to score a pinfall will be... Oh, okay. His body has to be broken right now. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. And here we go. Back into the ring. He's looking at it. He's trying to get inside his head. He's in the driver's seat, and he knows it. Not this! John Cena never thinks that he's going to lose. He isn't programmed that way. That's what makes Cena such a fierce competitor. His never-say-die attitude. Oh, he's going to need more than just attitude to get out of this. He's up against the legend killer and the game. Orton looking to do some oh, serious got a DVP. damage. Randy Orton is no stranger to killing someone's legend. As a DDT. Orton is in firm control of this championship match. And he strikes with a quick kick. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. If you can't hear Cena himself say it, then you'll hear his fans. You can't see me. I got hit with a match for this. that thinks there's some good in everybody hasn't met Randy Orton. Oh, the Lariat knocks their opponent down. Back into the ring now. That's it. He's out. Ow, hard kick to the ribs. There's the clothesline. You know, anybody that thinks there's some good in everybody hasn't met Randy Orton. He's still not through. And Orton just unloading with a huge right. Double suplex. There's a cover. And Orton 
slithers out of cover. His strike, it's nothing but air. Missed him. Bam! Bam. Pulled it up, end over end. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Man down, man down big time. And there's a right, the shot. Come on, the place. Come in here. There's the cover out of here. I think he's finished. And a kick out at one. Nice reversal. Looks like he's trying to get a pin here. We got a cover. And there's a quick kick. Orton with a brilliant counter. Right hand by Randy. Triple H in trouble. Oh my gosh, what a slam. You know, anybody that thinks there's some good in everybody hasn't met Randy Orton. Going for a pin, here's the cover. A big clubbing blow, and the game kicks out. Bulldog headlock, face first to the floor. Another kick. The game, and there's the hurricane with the cover, and come on. Don't get scared, let them tear each other apart. This match isn't close to being done. I think after that, I'd be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. Yeah. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Oh, what a pedigree. That's it. We got a cover. One, two. Oh, my God. The referee's hand was mere millimeters from a three count. Come on. Oh. What a neck breaker. It's nothing I got new. three. I got three. I got three. Is pulling inside. My God Almighty, going for the cover. And that was broken up before it could land. What a despicable kick by Orton. Watch out here. Again, double suplex the game. so much out of this guy he's not gonna give up but man this has been physical he's carving a path of destruction tonight how much more how much more are you willing to pay to win this match this is unreal now that's the way to turn it around. Oh yeah, get in, get in. Oh, nice block. Oh no. Another double suplex? Oh no, he did over the neck. There's the cover out of here. I think he's finished. A stiff axe handle. Not even two. How much more extreme will this match become? Randy Orton 
Orton seems to be relishing in this. Look at Orton. Just stomp away with complete disregard. That's gotta hurt. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. The punch connects. Boy, did he get dropped or what? He just nailed him with that choke slam. Wow. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Nice counter. Yeah. One step ahead. Could this be it? Damn, that's all I can say about that. And the impact. And down he goes. Man, oh, man. Cena countered it. He needs on the verge. What's it going to take to keep him down? Right hand by Randy. Triple H. And he nailed it. I just think I hit you with an He's got his shoulders planted to the man. Here's three. It's all your fault, it's all your fault, Cena. I'm just gonna win the match. Fuck it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena for the WWE Championship. Well, I'll tell you, JR, this match is a long time in coming. And these three men have done everything possible to get to this moment. Cena stunned the world coming back from injury to win the Royal Rumble and challenged Orton at no way out instead of WrestleMania. Cena lost that match against Orton when Orton got himself disqualified. That same night, Triple H won his Elimination Chamber match, making him the top contender for the WWE title. Oh, these three men have agitated, interfered, and interjected themselves in each other's business for months. And it all leads up to this moment. The game has gone through absolute hell to earn this opportunity after winning the Elimination Chamber. Don't forget about the game's career-threatening injury. It's impressive the amount of dedication and physical conditioning that saved John Cena, obviously ready for this match. But how long will it be before Triple H and Randy Orton turn on each other? If I'm Cena, I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. In a triple threat match, Sometimes it's best if you lie back and then let the other two competitors fight for a while. Oh, it's all about picking your spot, JR. You wait until your opponents have worn each other out, and then you strike. He's really going for it now. No, not again. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Look at the strength behind those strikes. Another stiff kick. He just reversed that with ease. Bam! A sharp kick. It's not looking good for Cena. Triple threat matches are so dangerous. Alliances are created and it doesn't matter who gets pinned here. The man that makes the pin is the WWE Champion. That's why we talked about the fact that it doesn't really favor Orton. Because John Cena could pin Triple H or Triple H could pin John Cena and Randy Orton not even beat. Let's not forget that Triple H beat Randy Orton for the WWE Championship back in the fall. The game won it on that night and ended up defending it three times. Triple H was beaten by Orton in a Falls Count Anywhere match, and now Orton is doing anything he has to to leave WrestleMania the WWE Champion. That's right. That's the backstory that got us here tonight. Back into the ring now. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. Oh, look at the emotion. Back into the ring now. This guy's just getting worn out. Heading back into the ring now. He's really going for it now. If you can't hear Cena himself say it, then you'll hear his fans. You can't see me. Uh-oh. Yeah, Triple H looking to be 
be suffering from the lingering effects of his quadriceps injury. John Cena never thinks that he's going to lose. He isn't programmed that way. That's what makes Cena such a fierce competitor. His never say die attitude. Oh, he's going to need more than just attitude to get out of this. He's up against the they lose to do this. the game at the same time. Randy Orton showing a vicious Orton looking to do some serious damage. Randy Orton is no stranger to killing someone's legend. And here comes the game. Oh, and Orton hasn't scouted. A huge double hangman's DDT. Orton is in firm control of this championship match. You know, anybody that thinks there's some good in everybody hasn't met Randy Orton. What an impact from that kick. There's the pose line. Oh, and Charlie saw it coming. Blocks the chop. Nice. It's nothing new, but Triple H is getting inside the head of his opponent here. Get ready, folks. Get ready. What an incredible suplex. You hear how his leg connected? He's taking control again. Oh, what a painful kick. How in the world did he counter that? Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. It's nothing new, but Triple H is getting inside the head of his opponent here. I bet they could hear that one up in the rafters. And there's the face buster. And one. Misses. Triple H with a beautiful reverse. He's really going for it now. Look at the strength behind those strikes. He's still not through. No, not again. Bam. The punch connects. Cerebral assassin measuring him. And I'm about to go for it. John Cena and Triple H have made it clear. Neither man will rest and I'm about to get until it. Orton loses the WWE Championship. Oh, that's easier said than done, JR. Orton won't go down without a fight. Don't ever underestimate the legend killer. Cena's poised and at the ready. He's looking for that attitude adjustment to please in rare form tonight. He's going and Orton slithers out of cover. And that was broken up before it could land. You know, anybody that thinks there's some good in everybody hasn't met Randy Orton. And down he goes. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He's carving a path of destruction tonight. Orton. Oh, RKO! That's it! That's gotta be it! Orton. Yeah, oh, the RKO! What an RKO face first! He just nailed him with that choke slam. Wow! What an impact from that kick! He's putting those educated feet to good use. He catches them with the axe handle. And there's a quick kick. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. We got a cover and an easy kick out. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Here's a cover. More of a preventive measure than a save there. And only a count of one. Triple H, the cerebral assassin. So we got a cover and the count's broken, keeping the match alive. And he kicks out. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants... He's applying the pressure. He's in perfect position. Complete control. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, right between the eyes. A clubbing axe oh. handle. No! Broken up! Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Beating it out, perhaps, here. Nice reversal. A great reversal by Cena. Tap 
textbook hold. And this is all oh, over. Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hold. Thank God. Second hit. There's a good shot. He is absolutely on fire. Oh, I don't like y'all. Okay, let me do it. It's from Triple H. This is the longest one. There's the cover. That'll be it. I think he's finished. And that was broken up before it could land. No, broken up. Countered by the cerebral assassin. And all he do is now, I can never hey, do nothing good. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. You hear how his leg connected? Cena starting to shoot. Triple H executed that move to perfection. Easily avoided. This could be it. Oh. oh, his body has to be broken right now. There's a cover. There's two, three. Oh, okay, okay, I'm not doing this match here, Virgil. Match is just going to be... Gentlemen, Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena for the WWE Championship. I'll tell you, JR, this match is a long time in coming, and these three men have done everything possible to get to this moment. Cena stunned the world coming back from injury to win the Royal Rumble and challenge Orton at No Way Out instead of WrestleMania. Cena lost that match against Orton when Orton got himself disqualified. That same night, Triple H won his Elimination Chamber match, making him the top contender for the WWE title. Oh, these three men have agitated, interfered, and interjected themselves in each other's business for months. And it all leads up to this moment. He's taking his opponent to school here. And he strikes with a quick kick. I think after that, I'd be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. That one went wide. The game has gone through absolute hell to earn this opportunity after one John Cena, obviously ready for this match. But how long will it be before Triple H and Randy Orton turn on each other? If I'm Cena, I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. In a triple threat match, sometimes it's best if you lie back and then let the other two competitors fight for a while. Oh, it's all about picking your spot, JR. You wait until your opponents have worn each other out, and then you strike. The punch connects. Beautiful counter. Oh, my. An explosive suplex. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Whoa, watch out. The announce table is getting torn down. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no count outs in this match. He misjudged the range on that one. I misjudged it the doesn't range. matter make who gets pinned here. The man that makes the pin is the WWE champion. And that's why we talked about the fact that it doesn't really favor Orton, because John Cena could pin Triple H, or Triple H could pin John Cena and Randy Orton not even be involved and still lose the championship. The champion is always at a disadvantage in a triple threat. It's almost an unfair advantage against the champion. And it's Randy Orton who has the giant target on his back tonight. There he goes! Out of the Let's not forget that Triple H beat Randy Orton for the WWE Championship back in the fall. The game won it on that night and ended up defending it three times. Triple H was beaten by Orton in a Falls Count Anywhere match, and now Orton is doing anything he has to to leave WrestleMania the WWE Champion. That's right. That's the backstory that got us here tonight. Orton. Tremendous clothesline. Wham! Now that's how you thwart the attack. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. How in the world did he counter that? No, not again. Could this be it? This may do it. No! 
The scary thing about Triple H is that he only gets meaner as the match goes on. A kick. Keep your eye on. Oh, man. How do you beat an opponent that can do that to you? No blocks. He's got it. He's going for the three count. Like the fourth time, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H, Randy Orton, and John Cena for the WWE Championship. Well, I'll tell you, JR, this match is a long time in coming, and these three men have done everything possible to get to this moment. Cena stunned the world coming back from injury to win the Royal Rumble and challenge Orton at No Way Out instead of WrestleMania. Cena lost that match against Orton when Orton got himself disqualified. That same night, Triple H won his Elimination Chamber match, making him the top contender for the WWE title. Oh, these three men have agitated, interfered, and interjected themselves in each other's business for months. And it all... The game has gone to John Cena, obviously ready for this match. But how long will it be before Triple H and Randy Orton turn on each other? If I'm Cena, I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. In a triple threat match, sometimes it's best if you lie back and then let the other two competitors fight for a while. Oh, it's all about picking your spot, JR. You wait until your opponents have worn each other out, and then you strike. And that was broken up. It's not looking good for Cena. Triple threat matches are so dangerous. Alliances are created and destroyed in a matter of minutes and you just don't know who you can trust. Nobody, JR. That's who you can trust. Nobody. It's every man for himself in this type of match. The first man to score a pinfall will be declared the winner. That fact alone makes oh, for some God. interesting dynamics between these three men. Three men who do not like each other, by the way. And it's no secret that Triple H and Orton don't like each other very much, and neither of them like John Cena. Let's not forget that Triple H beat Randy Orton for the WWE Championship back in the fall. The game won it on that night and ended up defending it three times. Triple H was beaten by Orton in a Falls Count Anywhere match and now Orton is doing anything he has to to leave Russell. It doesn't matter who gets pinned here. The man that makes the pin is the WWE Champion. And that's why we talked about the fact that it doesn't really favor Orton. Because John Cena could pin Triple H, or Triple H could pin John Cena, and Randy Orton... John Cena never thinks that he's going to lose. He isn't programmed that way. That's what makes Cena such a fierce competitor. His never-say-die attitude. Oh, he's going to need more than just attitude to get out of this. He's up against the legend killer and the game at the same time. Randy Orton showing a vicious side of himself lately. He is so focused and determined to hold on to the WWE Championship. Oh, the Chain Gang Soldier is at a definite disadvantage here tonight. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. Look at the strength behind those strikes. It's nothing new, but Triple H is getting inside the head. That's it. He's out. Back into the ring now. It's nothing. We got a cover. That's two. And our even-handed referee stops the count at two and a half. Wait for this to pop up. Orton looking to do some serious damage. Randy Orton is no stranger to killing someone's legend. Say Bradley to Cole, you better back up. You get a referee. Quadriceps injury. And those effects are going to linger for a long time, JR. He'll never be completely 100% again. Well, as much as I don't want to admit it, King, I think you're right. Triple H is clearly struggling tonight. No! Broken up! His strike hits nothing but air. Grab the rope! Just 
look at this. You can see the results from that move. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. Oh, jeez. Knee to the gut. That'll take the fight out of you. Look out! No, I'm on recorded right now. That's it. He's done. Oh. Oh, the RKO! What an RKO face first! Look at the strength behind those strikes. This could be it. This could be it. Triple H kicking out. And the game's got to figure out how to stop this assault in quickly. He's really going for it now. Look at the strength behind those struck with the cover. And somehow, John Cena gets the shoulder up. Another one. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. Two, Look at the strength behind those strikes. We got a cover. That's two. Oh, man, I thought he had him. Oh, now he might not be sure if he has what it takes to defeat Triple H. He's really going for it now. Look at the strength behind those strikes. There's a cover. One. Another kick out. What determination. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. I don't care how big you are. No one can sustain these kind of blows. Look at the strength behind those strikes. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Let me tell you, better him than me. He's going for the pin. Good God. That last maneuver seems to have had... May have to submit here. Cut the rope. Look at the strength behind those strikes. He was ready for that one. The cerebral assassin preparing his foe for the ultimate.